Welcome. Thanks for joining me. So today, you just got back from a run, a cycle, a walk, and you want to stretch out. So this is going to target those areas that you've worked. This one feels really good in my body. When I come back, these are some of my favorites. So you're going to maybe need a chair, a wall, you can use a couch, you can use a bench, um, whatever you need to make it accessible to you, but we're going to be holding on to something with our arms just to find that length in the spine. After all that walking and pounding of running or cycling, the spine gets a little compressed and we want to lengthen it back out as well as lengthen those muscles around the hip and low back. So that's what we're going to target today. So once you're ready, we're going to start in a downward dog with the chair. So I just kind of turn my chair any way that the sideways so I can use the top part or the bottom part depending on how I'm feeling. So you can change yours all the way that you'd like to as well. So I'm just going to lengthen out. Imagine finding a downward facing dog on my chair. My feet can be a little bit wider. I'm going to press into the chair, send my hips back. Maybe even rock my hips from side to side, getting into the side waist. Slowing your breath down. And bending the knees as much as you need, but really kind of focus on lengthening the spine here. Pressing down and forward into those hands, sending your sit bones back. Take another deep breath here. And exhale. And as you inhale, lift your chest. Take your right foot, step it forward toward the chair. Take your left foot, step it back. Kind of like a warrior one stance. And put a little bend into that front knee and then lift the chest. So you're targeting that left hip. So you're drawing that left hip forward. Low belly draws in. And then just bending into that front knee. Press down into the back heel. That's going to get into the calf a little bit more. And then you maybe want to interlink the hands behind the back and roll the shoulders back opening up the chest. If that's too much, hands can just come to your hips, press your thumbs into your low back, and roll the shoulders back. So you have that as an option as well. A couple more breaths here. And then start to lift the chest, start to bring those hands back to the chair, step that right foot back, find that downward dog again, press back into the hips, relax the head and jaw, relax the shoulders, Exhale fully here. And then lift the chest on your inhale. Step that left foot forward. Right foot's going to come back. Press down into that heel. Lift the chest and then bend into that front knee. So again, targeting that right side. Draw the low belly in. Lift the chest. And if it feels okay, either hands on your hips and rolling those shoulders back or interlink the fingers and lengthen the hands down toward your back heel opening up the front body when we tend to run or cycle we tend to round forward so it's good to do the opposite of that to open yourself up take another breath here and then slowly release that come back to that downward facing dog hands to the chair step it back press down and forward into those hands lengthen back relax the head See if you can breathe into your back ribs. Lift your back ribs up to the ceiling as you inhale. And then as you exhale, send those sit bones back a little bit away from the chair. Good. Inhale, lifts the heart. Exhale, steps forward and bring yourself up. So the next one, you might need a little bit of balance with the chair, right? We're going to do just some knee huggers and quad stretch at the same time. So you might need that for balance. Taking your right leg first, you're gonna inhale, draw the knee up. And then as you exhale, you're gonna draw the knee down, grab the ankle, and then inhale, draws it up. Exhale, brings it back. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Good, one more, we're gonna hold this one. Inhale, hold the knee hugger. And if it's too hard to hold, maybe that foot's on the chair and you lean forward. So it's gonna target that hip. And breathe. And then from here, draw it back, holding here that quad stretch. You're going to draw your knee in, hips forward, shoulders back. And then go ahead and release that right foot. You're going to take the right foot, place it behind the left, off to the side of the left foot. So your crossed, legs are crossed. And then lean toward the chair and take that right arm overhead. 
Send your right hip back out to the side. Bend into that left knee. So you're gonna get into the right IT band, that hip, uh, outer hip edge. That band that runs all the way from your hip down toward your knee. Get another breath here. And then slowly bring yourself back up. Uncross your legs. And we'll switch to the second side. So if you need to switch to the other side of the chair, you can do that. And you're going to do those knee huggers again. So draw the knee in. And then draw the foot back. Draw the knee in. Draw the foot back. Good. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back. This time we're going to hold. So hug that knee in. Breathe. Maybe you have a little bit better balance. You're just drawing it in. If you can't quite grab your shin, you can always grab behind your thigh. Good, and then one more breath. Good thing the chair's here. And then back behind you, finding that quadricep stretch, that front of the thigh. And then just slightly just press those hips forward. Engage the glutes. Roll the shoulders back. And then from here, you're going to take that left foot, place it behind the right. I'm just going to turn around so those legs are crossed. And then you're going to lean onto the chair, take that left arm overhead. Send those hips to the left. Finding that stretch in the side waist, down to the knee. Good. One more full inhale here. Exhale. Inhale brings you up. Exhale, releases that down. Take a moment there. We're going to target those hamstrings a little bit more. All right, those hamstrings get a lot of work when we're using our legs running or cycling. So you're going to take your right foot, step it forward. Left foot's going to step back. You're going to keep both legs as straight as possible. So hands coming to that chair, wherever you need to. So the base of the chair, the back of the chair or bench, and then just straighten both legs. Good. Press into those legs and then bend into the back knee and you're going to feel the front leg. Exhale, straighten the back knee. Inhale, bend into the back knee. Exhale, straighten. If you want to get into the calf, as you inhale, bend, draw the toes back. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Good. Exhale, straighten one more time. Inhale, bend, hold. Good. So you're really targeting that whole back of your leg there. Lengthening forward, pressing into the chair wherever you need to. And then bend, bring that front foot down, bend into that front knee, extend the back leg long. So you're going to bend into the front knee and then straighten the front knee. Inhale, bend. So the back leg's going to stay straight this time. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend that front knee. Exhale, straighten. Good. One more time. Inhale, bend. Hold. Good. Roll the shoulders back. Good. And then straighten that front leg, step that back foot forward, and then step the right foot back. Good, so your both feet are on the floor to begin. Good, press down into the chair, lengthen the spine forward, and then straighten the legs as much as possible. So you might need to be on the top of the chair, you might not even need to just be on hands on hips, right, depending on where you are. And then you're gonna bend into the back knee, and straighten. So that front leg's gonna stay nice and straight as you bend into the back knee. And then maybe you're going to target that calf, draw those toes back toward you as you sit back and forward. Sit back and hold. Good. Draw those toes back. Breathe. Power up this front leg. Good. Another big inhale. Exhale, straighten. Good. You're going to bend into that left knee, extend the right leg back a little bit so you're finding a little bit more openness in that right leg. Power up the back legs, so you're going to bend into the left knee, and then straighten it. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Good, one more time. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten, hold. Good, breathe here. Power up that back leg. And then bend into the knee, pause there, hold there. Lengthen forward, lean onto that chair. One more full inhale. Exhale. Inhale, straightens that leg. Exhale, brings yourself back up, standing up, and then now you get to sit on the chair. So nice. So we're going to take ourselves, place ourselves on that chair. And we're going to find a little figure four for our legs. Take your right ankle over your left 
and this might be where you stay. Maybe your knee's up a little higher, no problem. You're gonna flex the foot, and then just lean forward any little bit. So again, targeting the hip, lengthening forward. If you can lean forward a little bit more and let that knee drop, chest toward your thigh. That might not be accessible after a long run or a lot of time on your feet. So just pause where you are. I like to press my knee and my foot toward one another, just to remind me to keep that foot active. And then you're gonna lift the chest and just hug that knee in, any little bit. Maybe find a little bit of a twist. Hug it in. If you can't quite hug it in all the way, maybe you just find a twist, your left hand to your right thigh, and you use the back of the chair and you find a little twist. If this is still too deep and you want to just work into a twist, bring that right foot down and twist with the right foot on the floor. So a couple breaths, whatever variation that you're in. And then coming back to center, second side. Left leg comes on the top for that figure four, press into foot and knee, and then lengthen forward a little bit. Breathing here. And there's no need to rush this. You can feel maybe rock, a, excuse me, a little bit side to side. Maybe that feels good. Exhale here. As you inhale, sit up. Maybe you start with the twist. Maybe you know that you can't hug that knee in. You start your twist here. Maybe you're okay just twisting with your leg up. So it's gonna target a little bit deeper in the hip. Or maybe you're hugging that knee in and twisting toward the knee. So whatever position is going to be best for you. Remember, sides are not going to be the same. My left side is very different than my right side. Good. Two more breaths here. Exhale, fold me. Inhale, comes back to center. Take those feet a little bit wider than hip distance and just round forward, any little bit. Round forward, round forward, round forward. Let the head dangle. Little nod, yes. A little shake, no. Rounding into the back. Exhale, fully here. And then slowly round yourself up. Pausing here. Hands on your thighs, just take a moment, close your eyes. Notice what might still feel a little tight and take some time to stretch that now. Otherwise, allow your eyes to open. Thanks for taking this little stretching journey with me after your cardio, getting into those legs. Drink lots of water, eat your veggies, and more since I'm luck. We'll see you next time. Namaste.